The James Webb Space Telescope images are finally here, something that the astronomy community has been excited for a very long time. The team has released their first set of five images from the world's most powerful telescope ever built. The images reveal astonishing new details about our universe at a scale that we've never seen before. Since the telescope is capable of looking at previously unobserved infrared wavelengths, the translated false color images have a wealth of information that was previously undetected by instruments made by us. And the unprecedented detail shows things we couldn't even imagine, like evidence for water clouds on an exoplanet that orbits much close to its host star than Mercury does to the Sun. It also shows four different galaxies pulling at each other with a trail of stars streaming behind them and other such stellar things. How did the telescope make these findings? Why is this the most powerful telescope ever built? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, or just Webb, is capable of looking back in time, essentially obtaining images from nearly 13.4 billion years ago when the universe itself is just 13.8 billion years old. So how can the telescope do this? What does a shock wave that is spread out light years across look like? First, let's look at these wallpaper-worthy images that are captured in stunning detail. This is the first image. It is unofficially called Webb's first deep field. It is an image of the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723. It is a composite picture and shows thousands and thousands of galaxies. This whole image though is a piece of sky that is approximately the size of just a grain of sand. In fact, it shows galaxies from when the universe was less than a billion years old. These galaxies are the ones that look bent and distorted in this image. What's happening here is that this whole region's mass of thousands and thousands of galaxies acts like a gravitational lens. This then distorts the light coming in from behind it and magnifies it as well. So these bendy twisted galaxies in this image are the older, more distant, extremely faint galaxies that are magnified by the gravity of the rest of the galaxies. Essentially, the gravitational pull bends the light coming from these older galaxies. This image shows the cluster as it appeared 4.6 billion years ago and this today is 5.12 billion light years from us. This picture was taken with an exposure of 12 and a half hours. By contrast, here is a Hubble deep field picture with two weeks exposure. This is the Southern Ring Planetary Nebula, also known as NGC 3132 or Caldwell 74. It shows two stars that are orbiting each other, surrounded by a shroud of dust and gas. It was first imaged by Hubble, but the clarity on these newer images are just something else entirely. The image on the left is near-infrared, while the one on the right is mid-infrared. Dust and gas in the image on the right shows for the first time that the dimmer star is surrounded by dust from the outer layers that it blew off when it died. The stars orbit each other and their orbits swirl this dust and gas around, influencing the formation of other stars in the neighborhood. Some of these stars peek through the dust as flecks of light. The nebula is 2,000 light years away from us and it will continue expanding its material for tens of thousands of years, blowing these outer layers into the interstellar space. What is astounding in these images is that we can even see a galaxy edge on as viewed from the side. This image is called Stefan's Quintet and it was made famous also by the film It's a Wonderful Life. It is technically known as the Higson Compact Group 92. This image is also a mosaic made of nearly 1,000 individual images. It is a telescope's largest image to date and covers 150 million pixels. It shows never-before-seen details. Four of these galaxies, the ones on the right, are all interacting with each other gravitationally, tugging at each other, pulling out stars and dust and other material from each other. The leftmost galaxy is about 40 million light years from us, the other four are 290 million light years away, although these five together form the compact group. The image also shows an enormous shock wave as the lower galaxy in these bottom two moves through the cluster. 
The top galaxy here also has a supermassive black hole that is being actively studied. This black hole is 24 million times the mass of our sun. This stunning colorful image is the edge of a young nearby star forming region, NGC 3324 in the Carina Nebula. It is located 7600 light years away. What looks like hills or mountains and valleys are actually regions in space that are blasted away by intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds from very massive but very young stars in the center of the star forming region. The star forming region is above the region that is visible in this image and stellar winds blow from the top into this image. This region has been imaged plenty of times before. But the new photos show previously unseen stars and galaxies by the hundreds. The haze that is rising from these cosmic cliffs is hot ionized gas released from the nebula due to intense ultraviolet radiation. Protostellar jets, bursts of energy from newly forming stars, appear like flares of light around these young stars. There is some emptiness and some bubbles visible inside this gas structure and that is because this whole structure is being exposed to this ultraviolet radiation and stellar wind which is ionized particles from baby stars. This one is not technically an image, it's not a photograph, it's a spectrum. This shows the evidence of the presence of water in the exoplanet WASP-96b's atmosphere along with clouds and fog and haze. The exoplanet is located approximately 1150 light years away and contains a sun-like star. This planet is very unusual, there's nothing to compare in our solar system. It is a hot gas giant and it is slightly over the size of Jupiter, it is 1.2 times the diameter of Jupiter but it has less than half of Jupiter's mass. It is also over 500 degrees Celsius. It orbits its host star very close in just three and a half days. But despite being so close to its host star, it still has clouds and fog and water in its atmosphere. Webb imaged this planet for six and a half hours as it moved across the star, studying its spectrum and detecting molecules in its atmosphere against the star's backdrop and then comparing it with the readings without the star in the backdrop. This spectrum is the most detailed spectrum of an exoplanetary atmosphere ever captured to date and it is composed of 280 individual spectra. The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest and most complex science observatory ever built by humankind. It is an international collaboration involving more than 120 organizations, universities and companies from North America and Europe. It also involves the space agencies of US, Canada and Europe. The telescope was launched on Christmas Day in 2021 and it is the scientific successor to the Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes. It is located near the Earth at the Lagrange Point L2. These are five points in a two-body system like the Earth and Sun where smaller masses like satellites and spacecraft can remain in position because the gravitational pull from these two larger, more massive bodies in different directions keeps them sort of locked here. Here, these smaller bodies fall into an orbit around nothing going round and round empty space. This is called a halo orbit. Since these five points are fixed relative to the larger two bodies, they move along with Earth as it goes around the Sun. So effectively, the Webb telescope is in orbit around the Sun. It cannot image the Sun or the Earth and Moon and anything in between because these sources are too close and too bright for its infrared instruments. However, it can image the solar system, Mars and beyond. The team also released images of Jupiter as a part of a paper when they were calibrating the instruments, but even more stunning images of both of our own solar system beyond Mars and the rest of the universe are expected to arrive soon. By studying all the data coming from these images and observations, a new phase in astronomy will begin because this telescope is so unique and it's so infinitely better than anything that we have today. The telescope has 18 large hexagonal mirror segments coated with a thousand atom thick layer of gold. These segments lock together to form its giant almost circular primary mirror that is 6.6 meters across. The larger the mirror, the more light telescopes can collect, thus producing sharper and better images of objects that are even farther away and very, very faint. 
This is particularly important for infrared telescopes because the resolution of the image depends on the wavelength of light that is being imaged and infrared has a longer wavelength than visible light. So an infrared telescope requires a larger mirror. The early universe is also better observed in infrared as light traveling great distances becomes more and more redshifted and infrared telescopes are capable of studying redshift better. However, not all is hunky-dory. For the last couple of years, astronomers have been asking to rename the telescope, which was originally named the Next Generation Space Telescope. It was renamed in 2002 by the then NASA administrator after the Apollo era administrator, James Webb. But details have surfaced about how steeply Webb was involved in the persecution of gay and lesbian employees in NASA, leading to a culture of homophobia that was institutionalized at a federal level. So many astronomers are asking for a rename for the telescope, but NASA has so far refused. But with the release of these images, the push for renaming the telescope has intensified as this will have a tremendous legacy as a powerhouse that revolutionized our understanding of the skies.